Hey, what's up guys? Guys, in today's video, I will share my experience and work around for one of my client's rare requirement. The requirement was to evenly distribute leads into two separate lists with the sequence leads comes in. The requirement seems pretty simple until the tricky part comes in. The complete requirement was to evenly distribute converted leads using the round robin ID based on a particular value on the lead object. Let's say we are having a picklist value on lead which is having value true and false here. So suppose if a lead is getting converted with the value true, so the round robin ID should generate itself and if the lead is getting converted using the value false, so the round robin ID should be null in that case. For example, if lead 1 is getting converted with value true, so the round robin ID will be 1 in that case. Suppose if lead 2 is getting converted with value false, so the round robin ID will be null and if lead 3 is getting converted with value true, so the round robin ID should be 2 there. Strange requirement, isn't it? To fulfill the requirement, I decide to create a manual round robin functionality using a trigger on lead. So guys, in today's video, you will learn how you can create a manual round robin functionality if you are also having these kind of strange requirements. So guys, let's start this video. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Bold. Alright guys, so in today's demo, we will create a manual round robin functionality on lead. So let me just show you the fields first. Alright guys, so as I told you, like we'll be creating a round robin functionality based on a particular condition on lead once the lead is getting converted. So let me show you that conditional fields first. So guys on my lead object I'm having a boolean field sorry I'm having a picklist field here and my field name is is round robin and the values are true and false here and to create the round robin I'm having a field on my contact object as well because once the lead will get converted the lead will be vanished from the system so but the contact will be converted at, but the contact will be created at the same time so i'm uh, saving my round robin id on my contact object let me just show you here it is fields in contact guys i'm having a number field here the field name is round robin id and we will be storing our round robin id if the lead is getting converted with a status of true so in that case only we will be keeping the round robin id here and in my case i'm uh, having maximum value of 2 in round robin like if the lead 1 is getting converted so the value will be 1 if lead 2 is getting converted the value will be 2 and if lead 3 is getting converted so the value will be 1 again all right guys so guys to achieve this functionality i created a apex class and we will be uh, triggering this apex class using the process builder on lead actually first i decide to uh, create a trigger for it but uh, there was some issues in trigger we can uh, we can use the same functionality in trigger as well but uh, the requirement was to get this done using the process builder so that's why i created the apex class we can use the same code in trigger as well so in this uh, in today's demo i will be uh, converting the leads and storing the round robin id using a process builder and apex class so guys this is my apex class we will be calling this apex in our process builder so that's why i'm using invocable method annotation here and in my apex class i am just passing the list of contacts once lead is getting converted and the default round robin id value is one and underneath that i'm getting the contact id and round robin id from contact where id is equal to uh, the list of contact ids we'll be getting and we are getting the late last contact added uh, by converted leads from the list of contact as you can see i'm getting the contact here where round robin id not equals to null and order by created date so we'll be uh, getting the latest contact and underneath that i'm just updating the round robin value if the round robin value is not equal to 2 you can just update your round robin value as per your requirement like in my case the maximum round robin value is 2 if you want to update it so you can just update it simply by editing the value you can make it 3 4 or whatever you want 
so i'm just uh, updating the round robin value based on a condition here like if the round robin id not equals to 2 then add 1 in this and if the round robin id is true then the round robin id should be 1 again and underneath that i'm just updating the round robin value and i'm updating the contact as well okay guys so this was my apex and now we will create a process builder for the same so i'm creating a process builder on lead itself let me create a process builder let's name it update convert to leads okay and the process record change all right guys let's add the object here the object is lead when the code is created or edited okay let's save this add criteria let's add criteria is converted when conditions are met okay so is converted yeah here it is so the lead once the lead is getting converted so lead converted is equal to true and the is round robin id should be is round robin value should be true also in that case okay so the value should be true and all the conditions are met okay this is fine let's save this okay now we will add the immediate action the immediate action will be to invoke apex so we'll select apex here okay action name will be update round robin okay now we'll select our apex class here it is update contact update converted contacts okay all right guys now we will set the apex variables from here because we will be uh, sending the contact ids using this uh, process builder so here here is our variable guys and we will see field reference okay lead converted contact id all right so our process builder is also ready let's save it and try it okay it is let's activate it all right guys so our process builder also ready now let's create some sample leads to test the functionality i have created a lead here test lead one let's create few more in test lead one i'm having the is converted value is equal to true let's create few more leads test lead 2 okay company is round open let's make it true as well okay it is created let's create one more all right test lead 3 and let's make is round robin false this time okay let's create one more with the status true again test lead 4 okay now let's make is round robin false all right okay guys so we are having four leads here in lead 1, 2, 3, we are having the value true and in lead 4, we are having the value false here. Okay. So now let's convert it one by one and check the value on the contact. So let's convert lead 1 where we are having is round robin is equal to true. Okay. So we are creating an account here, a contact also and okay let's convert it all right guys so lead is converted now
all right so on, so in our lead list we are having three values now because the lead one is already converted let's convert lead 2 3 4 quickly okay yes convert it Okay, lead three is also converted. Now let's convert our last lead. In this lead, we are having the is round robin ID is equal to false, so the round robin ID should not be generated for this lead. Let's convert it and check the values on contact object. All right, so our leads are converted now. Now let's check the value on contacts. Okay. all right so let's start with test lead one or we can just open it in new tab let me just open four of them all right so this was our lead one and let's check the round robin id here it is the round robin id one here and for lead two it should be two yes it is two for lead three it should be one again we are getting some strange okay this is the random id and we are not having round robin id here for lead 4 let's check it one more time for lead 4 also we are not having round robin id i think for lead 3 uh, the is round robin value was false let's test it one more time let's create a new lead that's lead 5 okay let's make the value true here and create one more lead uh, with the value false okay test lead 6 and we'll make the value false here all right so guys now we will convert the test lead 5 so the value should be one again and in test lead 6 the value will be null so let's test it one more time okay convert this let's check the contact again So here is our test lead five. Okay, so the value is one here, and for test lead six, we are having the value false. So the round robin ID will not be generated for this lead, and the round robin ID will be null. Okay, let's convert it. and let's check the value for test lead 6 all right so as you can see guys the round robin id is null here so using the same way you can create a manual round robin functionality and you can customize the code as per your requirement and guys i will be having the code on my blog also i will uh, i will be having my complete apex class there so you can just directly go on my blog which is salesforcebold.com and check it out directly i will be having the post by tonight all right guys so that's it for today and i hope you learned something new hey guys i hope you like today's video please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below also let me know if you have any query in the comment section below guys i will try to revert back as soon as possible i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching